Today we're at Standard Middle School, home of the Warriors, and today we're here to... Yeah! Well, today we're at Standard Middle School, and with me right now, I've got 7th grade student Tristan ready to do a very difficult problem. Are you ready? Yes. It may not be that difficult for you, really, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay. All right, go ahead and read that for me, please. Express 15 and a half times 4 and 1 third as a mixed number. Okay. What's a mixed number, first of all? How would you describe uh, that? A mixed number is a number, a whole number, and a fraction. Right. So we have mixed numbers up there right now, right? Yes. Okay. So how would you like to approach this? How would you like to tackle this problem? First, I would make both numbers an improper fraction and then multiply. All right. By all means, let's start. Okay. I'll get this one. Okay, so you said you were going to turn the mixed number into an improper fraction, which is what you did. Yes. But there's some students watching the program right now going, well, I don't understand how you go from 15 and a half to 31 over 2. So could you explain that process? Yes. Uh, first, you multiply the whole number by the denominator. So 15 times 2 would be 30. And then you add the number you get to the uh, numerator. You add it, and that would be 31 over 2. Excellent. Uh, perfect with the vocabulary and everything like that as well. All right, let's keep going. Okay, All right, so let's move down here. So the first one we had was 31 over 2, and the other one was 13 over 3. And what would you like to do to those now? Uh, multiply because they cannot be cross-simplified, so just multiply. Good. I was going to ask you if you could cross-simplify first. And here we can see that 31 and 3, there is no common factor for those, right? No. And the same thing with 2 and 13. Nothing goes into 2 and 13. So we're just going to have to multiply straight across. Okay. Three, and then multiply the denominator. 2 times 3 would be 6, so 403 over 6. But then to make it a mixed number, you would have to divide and divide it and get the whole number in the fraction. Okay, so here's where estimating is going to take part, okay? Because some students are going to go, wow, that's a really big number. How do we know how many times 6 is going to go in there without going back and forth a lot of times? So how would you go about this? Estimating, I'd estimate uh, 5 by 400 because 5, you'd estimate it uh, down to 5 and 400, you'd, 403, you'd make that a 400 and be easier to, sim to um, divide 5 into 400. Okay. And how many times would 5, let's say just say 40, how many times do you think 5 would go into 40? 8 times. 8 times. Now, let me ask you this one. 6 can go, because we know we're going to deal with 6. Yes. What is a number that is close to 40 that 6 will go into without going over? Uh, 36. 36. So that would be 6 times? 6. All right. So how about if we do 60 first? All okay. right. So let's try a 6 here. So we know 6 by 6 is going to be? 36. There you go. So subtract and let's keep going that way. Okay. So subtract, that would be 4. Bring down the 3. And 6 times... 7 would make it into 42. There you go. And subtract that, and you would have 1, but you wouldn't go to a decimal, you go to a fraction, so it would be 1 over 6. Now, excellent, because you said we won't go to a decimal, we'll go to a fraction. Why? Because a mixed number does not involve a decimal, it involves a whole number and a fraction. Exactly, that is perfect reasoning why you do that. Now, how can you, because you would come up with 67 and 1 sixth. Yes. How do you know that is the correct answer? Uh, is there a way to check that? To check that? You could do your math again, or... You could, or you could just do this process again, right? Oh, yes. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Okay, 67 times 6. 36 plus 4 equals 40, so 402. 
then you add that one, you get 403 over 6. Right there, right there. Which is exactly what we were looking for, right? Yes. All right, so that way we know the problem is done and correctly. Perfect. Thank you.